One of the things that I have um, found disappointing about my Cricut is the filling in of a text font. I prefer that to an outline. So here you can see something that I've tried that has given me a fill in. It's been a little bit fiddly but not over the top and I've got different results with different writing implements. So the fine point looks fine, the, the 0 0.8 pens are fine, the fine glitter, uh, the fine foil transfer was okay, the medium was a little bit better but the bold was better still. So it kind of depends on the image that you want to get in the end. So I started this by using shortcuts a lot. Now you may not have shortcuts a lot but I will add the, this file on there so that you can do it. Now I'm going to do a 15 centimetre um, square without fill and I'm going to go to lattice and I'm going to make it 0 0.1 width in the lines a zero um, a point zero five in the gap between them which makes them no that's that's too small I'm going to go zero point one well, actually let's go back to horizontal and try a smaller gap no, not zero. Zero point zero five. If you do it enough times, you get it right. That's my theory. Okay, I'm going to do it at 210, and I'm going to rotate it at uh, to 45 degrees. So that's going to give me a diagonal line. I have found the diagonal line works better, which has given me this series of lines. So I'm going to export that as an SVG. I'm just going to call it crosshatch and you'll be able to download that if you want it. Okay, so going to design space. I am going to upload that file. Uh, crosshatch. Save it. You can see I was playing with this before, but this one's a little bit finer and insert the image. So I've just got that there. It's just a series of lines. Now for the text, you can type anything you want. I'm just going to show you um, what I did with the um, example. So, and I did this enough times to know exactly what I want. I want happy birthday. I want the letter spacing at minus 0.3 and I want the line spacing at 0.2. I have just found that for this particular thing, because I've played with it, that is best for me. Now I'm not changing the size of the text at this point. I have found it better to do it big and then make it small rather than make it small and then do it. Now all I have to do is add it to there and slice. So you end up with one layer, two layers, three layers and the fourth layer. So I'm just going to delete the fourth layer. Generally speaking, I have a look, that layer is no good for what I want. But going in a bit, it's a matter of choosing the best. What you're looking for is as little white as possible, but giving you good shape of letters. Um, and I think this is the one I want. Mostly it's the top one, but every now and again it'll be a different one. There is a little line across there, but I'm not going to worry about that at this point. Okay, what I should have done is another one the same size so I'm just going to do that again I usually duplicate but I didn't this time of course so I'm just going to do this the same this is for the outline now you don't have to do the outline this is entirely up to you but I found that I preferred the outline so oops that's a minus 0 0.3 so minus 0 0.3 0 0.2 okay now that I've got one plain text and one lined text. I'm going to make it the size I want, and I'm going to make it 4.5. You can make it any size you want. The bigger it is, of course, the further apart the lines are going to be. Going to be. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. I put that in the height. Let me just undo that. Highlight that and undo it again. Um, and undo it again. 
Let's make sure I've got this in the 4.5 width. I have 2.775, so I want to make that 4.5, 2.775. Okay, they're exactly the same size. Now, I'm going to make that draw and give it a color just so, oh, let's go raspberry so we can see it. So it's a draw and it's going to draw all those lines. Now, if we make this a draw, you'll see the difference. This is hollow. This has fill. Now, uh, I prefer, personally preferred it with um, the outline added, but that's entirely up to you. But if you want to add the outline, just align them in the center and make sure they're the same color. Or you can have a different color outline if you want. So what you end up with, I'm going to zoom right in there so you can see what you end up with, is it will draw, whoops, it will draw wherever there's that raspberry color it's going to draw so you can see there's little spaces in between but generally speaking the pen is wide enough to cover that in very easy to do and you end up with this um let's just zoom in here a bit this is zooming in a long way so it, it looks a bit wrong here <laughs> It doesn't look like that in real size. I did um, brush my uh, glitter pen here when it was still a bit damp. There's a fair bit of glitter, so you need to allow a little time to dry, to dry out. You can see with the fine blade, you didn't get as much detail. You got more with the um, medium and with the bold. This line that I've just done now is actually smaller than that, so you should get a better result than what that is. So it's very simple to do, gives you a great result and it fills in all your text, just what you wanted.